So the genesis of Adam Sharp, my wife and I were having a, a holiday in France and she got an email from this guy who was her, her boyfriend from before she and I got together. So from more than 20 years earlier. And she'd stayed in touch with him. He's an Englishman, you know, we were living in Australia. She'd continue, continued to correspond with him. And she said to me, he split up with his wife. Do you think maybe he could come over and sort of, you know, cry on our shoulder for, for a few days here in France? And I said, no, because <laughs> I'd met this guy and you know, our interests were not the same back 20 years ago. And she said, oh, please come on, what if, you know, Etc. And I said, okay, three days, absolute maximum three days, that's it. So she comes, calls him up and she comes off the phone and she says, okay, he's going to arrive Thursday or leave next Wednesday. And I, but anyway, he turned up and he was delightful, very gracious about the whole thing and so forth. We got on, we got on really well. But I thought to myself, what if it had been different? What if my wife and I had been struggling a bit in the marriage? What if he was actually the great love of her life? And what if he left his wife because of that? And that, in fact, was the stimulus for the best of Adam Sharp. Um, but I placed myself in the position of the, of the Englishman coming into that situation rather than, I guess, me. And yet the story obviously changed a lot, but that was where it came from.